Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody had replied to one of my videos that I called Paint and Replace. And she was wondering if it would uh, work with MDF. And if you don't use MDF, uh, you're missing the boat. Uh, MDF is cheap. It doesn't uh, warp as bad. It does warp. It could warp. It not, ne not necessarily warps like plywood does. It cuts pretty much like butter. It sands good and it paints excellent. These are just two signs that I've made for children over the last several years. I know the one on the left is over eight years old. Uh, I just talked to his dad the other day and he just turned eight and I took it to him in the hospital. But, and I just thought I'd just kind of show. So these, this is MDF and it's also, also relatively available and it's easy to, you know, like Home Depot or at least in Central Texas sells it in uh, uh, two foot by four foot sheets. And it can be cut to the size of your laser bed. But I would just kind of thought I'd go through the steps of how you would do this and what you would need to do. And before I forget, um, prime, prime it with paint is the probably the key word. But I'm going to go, if you were designing and say this sign like I just got through making, and you're going to hit P in the center of the, put it in the center of the page, control D and make a duplicate and hold down your shift key and kind of bring it in equally and then hit P. We're a little bit bigger on the outside, so we're going to stretch it and then we're going to hit P. That's all you need to do. Now, this piece is going to be a piece of MDF that you're going to put on the back of the piece to hold the letters in. That's all it's for. You're just going to cut it out, sand off the burn residue, and glue it to the back of this piece evenly. But you also can use it for a reference to type in... Um, the child's name, or and it doesn't have to be a child. Child's name. Ah. Uh, I'll get it right here in a second. And put that in the center of the page. So you know you're well within the backdrop. You can left click, right click, and there's your hairlines. Uh, take this piece out. Cut that out of the MDF. Cut this out of the MDF. Keep your letters. Uh, probably wouldn't hurt in this case to uh, put them back in there and put blue tape on the back to hold them while you're sanding them. To sand them, you really want them smooth. You want everything smooth for the paint. And then take these out and lay them on a board somewhere. You'll actually have holes here. And uh, well, let's just do that. So take these letters out and lay them on a board with some tape. I take tape and loop it around where the tape's sticking up just lightly and then spread them apart where you can get, uh, you know, paint all the way around them. Even though it's not gonna show, you don't want a black line between there. And a lot of the videos I show where I put one wood into another wood, I contour the letters. You don't need to do that with paint because the paint is gonna take that spot up. And then go back and paint this with a second color. So let's make this blue. And let's make this green, for instance. We won't want to do that, but you can color fill just to get the idea of what it's going to look like. We'll just do it black. And then all you do is just pop those letters back in there. And that's what your sign's going to look like. Easy, easy, easy. But the key word is prime. Prime the, I use gray primer. Home Depot, Rust-Oleum, whatever brand, to prime both pieces because MDF is porous. It will soak up the paint. So instead of putting on multiple coats of paint, use primer. And, and, and I do a lot of painting, and I've done a lot of research. Uh, primer, if you don't know, is a paint basically with more glue in it. So it'll, it'll help it adhere to the wood better or your metal, or whatever you're painting. And I used to ask the question, well, why don't I just use it for primer? Use the primer for paint. Well, paint won't take the elements like paint will, or primer won't take the elements like the sun and the, the UV light like paint will. 
So you need to use both. Don't skimp on this. Uh, use primer and it'll come out like that. And it's just as sharp as can be. Anyway, hope that answered their question and thank you for watching.